welcome to CBC. This is our Passover special. Weeks of unrest in Jerusalem continue as rumours spread that Jesus, that rebel leader, executed three days ago on Friday morning for treason, was reported seen in the city of Jerusalem. Just a week ago, he had made a triumphal entry into the city and on Thursday, he was betrayed and arrested by one of his closest friends before being executed at noon on Friday. Early this morning, something happened at his tomb. What it was has been difficult to understand, but since then, there have been reports that he has been seen alive and has come back from the dead. First, I'm going to interview the chief of guards, Major Titus, whose soldiers were at the tomb. Major Titus, thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Tell me, Major Titus, could you tell us exactly what happened there this morning? There was an earthquake at four in the morning. I was in the main guard room, leaving some of my most experienced recruits to guard the tomb. They called me early in the morning about the earthquake, and I immediately attended the scene. What did they report on your arrival? They reported that the tomb had been broken open and I confirmed that the tomb was empty and the body was missing. Was there any evidence of the grave being robbed or the body taken? This is the current idea we are working with. The body was missing. Are you quite sure that Jesus was actually dead? Yes, quite sure. Our techniques and skills in this area are unmatched across the world. How on earth could your guards have allowed this to happen? This great scandal! That is a good question. We are currently overseeing an internal investigation to discover what happened following the earthquake. My men insist no one entered the area under their night watch, but we are determined to find out how the body of this notorious man with such a reputation could disappear under full guard. Heads will roll with this. Well, thank you, Major Titus. Our next interview was due to be with the chief rabbi, but sadly he was unavailable. But one of his assistants, Rabbi Tome, has agreed to do the interview. What an amazing interview from Major Titus. Moving on now to our second interview with Rabbi Tommy. Good morning, Rabbi Tommy. Um, do you have any comments to make about Jesus? And um, what do you really think of this whole risen from the dead thing? Yeah, well, you know, I saw him last week when he was riding into Jerusalem through my little window and there were crowds of people all around him. But some of the rabbis decided to hold the trial and we condemned him to death for blasphemy. Early reports suggest that many believed he was a great healer and a miracle worker. What do you think happened? Well, he claimed to be God and he hung out with all the wrong people. So he kept overturning all of our traditions. He deserved to die. People were being led astray. What do you make of this rumor of the resurrection risen from the dead and empty tomb? Empty tomb. Man, it, it was his band of misfits that went in and stole the body. This is a clear case of grave robbery. I mean, we were expecting it. He had been talking about it. it we just know that it was, it's, it's not true. And um, how do you explain these um, robbers coming in and overpowering all the Roman soldiers? I, I think clearly the Roman soldiers were asleep. They, they, they just fell asleep and that's when the body was stolen. All the soldiers asleep? Interesting. And what do you make of the person, people actually reporting that Jesus was alive? Alive? Utter nonsense. You know, we've had a great deal of trouble with this guy and we can't afford to have these rumors flying around. The truth is going to come out and we will see that it is a fact that he is dead. Thank you for sharing with CBC today. Now time to move on to our final interview with Cleopas, who claims to have walked with Jesus on a road. Hello there and welcome. This is our final interview with Cleopas. He claims to have seen Jesus alive. Thank you, Cleopas, for being willing to share with CBC today. Could you perhaps tell us what happened between you, Jesus, 
It was so amazing that I just had to make a few notes so I could remember. Yes, in fact, I did see Jesus. L yesterday afternoon and again last night. My friend and I were on our way back home. Around a mile or so before the city, this man walked alongside us. At first he seemed like a stranger, but then he started telling us a story about how Jesus was the Son of God, that he was the Messiah. When we got back, he stayed to have supper with us. When did you realise that this stranger who walked on the road with you was in reality Jesus? Well, we invited him to give thanks for food. When he picked up the bread and broke it, our eyes were opened. And in that moment, we knew he was Jesus. But then he just disappeared. Are you sure about that? Just disappearing off like that? Could it have been a trick of the light? Or your imagination? A hope that Jesus really wasn't dead? Well, I don't know how to explain it to you. We just knew who, him as we sat there right next to him. And then he disappeared. We rushed straight back to Jerusalem to tell the others about him. And what did the others say? Were they surprised, angry, upset? Some of them weren't so sure. But that didn't matter. Because while we were still telling them what happened, Jesus appeared. He came in through the walls. Through the walls? Could it have been a ghost? Well, that's what some of us thought at first. But then he showed us his hands and his scars. He sat down and ate with us. I've never heard of a ghost eating. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but I want all you listeners to know I've heard him, spoke to him, and I've even seen him eat. I know it's him. I can absolutely state it as a fact. Jesus has risen from the dead. Well, thank you. What an amazing set of interviews we've had today on CBC. It appears only time will tell if his body is still out there. If that body is discovered and his disciples were lying, then maybe this whole story will just blow over in a couple of weeks. But perhaps if it is true, then maybe the story will still be being told years from now. To get more on these and other late breaking and developing stories from around Israel, please go to our website www.crossroadschurch.fr. Thank you for tuning in today and we hope to see you again on CBC.